Hello, talented souls. This is Luna. Hope you're doing well. Happy New Year. Um, hope you have a great start. Uh, thank you for joining me. This is a reading for people that is uh, on the Eastern, on the Eastern uh, astrology, a pig, and people that is on the Western astrology, a Scorpio. Okay, I decided to combine the two because it's more fun. Take what resonate. If you feel more inclined to a Scorpio, go with a Scorpio. If you are both, this is totally your reading. If coincidentally. And if you are uh, you like to focus on the eastern side, then uh, check on the year that you were born. And if you're a pig, then this is your reading as well. So hope it resonates. Uh, I have five different cards here. This will be a reading about career, finance, and life purpose predictions for 2020, uh, just for the start of the year. And I hope uh, you find it interesting. Please thumb up if you like it, uh, comment, uh, and... Um, what else? And subscribe, of course, subscribe. If you want to know more about me, all the information is in the box below. You have my email, you have, uh, you know, you want a personal reading, the information is there. I focus on career. I have 20 years career in recruitment, human resources. I have done tarot since I was 16. I always love it. Thank God for YouTube. We can share our gift. <laughs> uh, I always um, it always helped me and I thought that it would be great to combine both you know the spiritual with the practical experience and help more people okay so hope it resonates uh, and uh, let's see what is in store for you this year I will uh, split the year I will uh, split the year in four quarters okay so th the three each three months and I will put two cards, and then those cards will support. And I will go into that. I mean, no need to explain right now. Let's see. The first two months of the year. Okay. Second quarter. Sorry, the first three months of the year. The second quarter. The third quarter. And the fourth quarter. And this is, again, a reading for a Scorpio and the pig. And I will put here this so we can separate in more detail. Okay? So, what is in store for you in the first quarter? Let's see how we could kick off the year. Ten of fire, page of air. Okay? What is telling me is that you're starting the year with so many things to do. Come on, you're so busy. Maybe you took a long holidays and now you have so much work to do. Okay, 10 of 5 is 10 of 1s. So multiple, multiple, multiple tasks. A lot of things that, uh, you know, uh, are burning because uh, no one pay attention to it in the company, in the work, and now you're carrying a heavy, heavy workload. No wonder this is very common. This is where we are normally are after a holiday, okay? So you took a holiday and the first month will be a lot of work, okay? But you manage. She's very happy. Look. She, she knows that she can manage, she's not, she's very focused, okay? So you are very focused, you know that you can do it, okay? And in fact, the page of air is telling me that after you finish, you feel like, oh my God, this is heaven. <laughs> so I get the feeling that you are uh, the kind of person that is in a company that uh, maybe you are a PA, okay? Uh, a PA, uh, someone that is a coordinator, uh, someone that does a lot of work, uh, you know, for others, okay? So you sorted out all the admin things and administrative, something on those lines, and you will feel so, so pleased after you finish. You get a feeling, oh my God, I did so many things. I'm so happy. I'm flying high. Da, da, da. That's the feeling. You do well, okay? And I'm getting that feeling. You work in an administration kind of coordination role. Okay, what happened the next quarter? The next quarter, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, you, uh, this is uh, this is uh, January, February, March, April, May, June. April, May, June. You have the opportunity to travel for work. Okay, this is the six of air is about traveling, and this is the flag of England. I always say this flag of England. Okay, uh, and uh, maybe you were in, going abroad. Because you did an amazing job, they're giving you the opportunity to do some kind of similar coordination, project management, maybe administration job in a project abroad. 
And you're so happy about that because you, te- you become the queen of earth. The queen of earth is the queen of um, pentacles, okay? This is a promotion. This is something, an opportunity to work abroad that you always wanted. And you are going to get this opportunity to work abroad, okay? And when you get it, you're going to be the queen. Wherever you land, you are the queen. I'm getting that you're going into a place maybe that is less developed. Imagine, you live in the UK and you go to work to Ghana. Or you live in the UK, you go to work to um, uh, the Middle East. Or you go to work to uh, a less developed office. That's what I'm getting. And you get a bigger position because in that office there is not that many people and it's a great opportunity for you to step up into a bigger role. That's what I'm getting. And if you are a PA, you get you get to be the PA of the top, top guy of the company or girl. Okay? So whatever it is, there are two, two options. Or you go into a place that is less developed and you are in a bigger role. Or you go into uh, you know, a similar, a better office, the biggest office, the headquarters of the company, and you become, uh, or you work with the, 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 the highest, with higher level, let's say. You're working right now with the head of the department. In this tra- after this travel, you work with the CEO. Okay? That kind of vibe. Two options, from admin to project management or from a PA to the PA of the God of the company, okay? Beautiful, well done. What's going to happen in the following uh, three, uh, three months? This is July, August, and September. Eight of air and the chariot. Oh, wow. Okay. Eight of air, okay. You move into uh, this role. The eight of air is a, uh, is a, uh, is a, uh, is um. I mean, she feels like a, she's losing something, no? So she feels that she's there losing some of her, her uh, wins. Okay, so maybe in this quarter, you feel like obviously after a travel, that you have lose uh, some of your uh, control zone because I'm getting that you're very control freak as well. Obviously, otherwise you wouldn't have that many responsibilities, okay? So in this new position, some days, some days you feel like you're losing control, okay? But do not worry because you have the chariot here so you can overcome whatever, okay? (coughs) Sorry about that. You can overcome any challenge. You just need to trust yourself, okay? So there will be worries. Of course, it's a new job. It's a bigger job. There is no way it's going to be easy, okay? And when you want to grow, you always, you know, go for a role that you are fitting into a role, typically 60 to 70%. There is no way you will get a promotion or you get a new job that you are 100% fit for the role. And this is some worries. You will fly. I mean, they're feathers. They're not that heavy. You know what I mean? They're not that heavy. They're not a burden. They're just there flying down. And then you take the chariot and you go for it. Okay? So you are very, very solid, solid, solid. I mean, you're the kind of person that everyone wants to have in a company. Okay? The next uh, three months is the last month of the year. Okay? So let's see what we have in the last three months. So we have four of water. Beautiful. And messenger of earth. Okay. So the last four months, uh, this is uh, uh, October, November, December, okay? You kind of, uh, you are in this position that you feel emotionally uh, happy. Obviously, we have a lot of air here, uh, one fire, earth, and earth. So you're someone very much on the mental space, okay? So you're very focused on your career this year. Everything around you is your career. But there is a moment that you need to really Focus on, okay, my relationships. Where are my relationships, okay? I am standing here on the water, you know, just holding one ball where I have other balls here. So this is a time for reflection in the, at the end of the year because obviously you have put so much energy towards uh, work that you have a time for reflection and you think, okay, no, I need to focus a little bit more on my relationship as well. I need to perhaps, you know, take some, uh, you know, fly back home, see my family, I don't know. You feel like some kind of, uh, the photo water is not extremely 
emotionally excited is someone that knows that they have the love but they haven't spent that much time nurturing so i'm getting that you will be uh, like rethinking about uh, your emotional connections okay and when you do that when you do that you still are the messenger of earth meaning that you can still feel the satisfaction of being able to do your job very well so the messenger of earth is the knight of earth okay so here you feel like a queen or you work with the queen we said the two scenarios and here you are the knight of earth the knight of coins you still are in a power position look at how how powerful she is okay so pay attention to your relationship don't forget about relationship because that is important as well is the only is the only uh, let's say uh, cup this is the fourth cup the only cup that we have but you have solid relationships solid connections and just you need to, to pay attention to that uh, that time uh, i mean because career is also about balancing no it's a balancing act it's a balancing act. it's not all about careers no and you're so focused on your career but um, the opportunities are there you get the success you get the uh, you know the coins you get the rewards etc cetera, etc cetera. so well done it's a very good year for you very good year you're stepping into a bigger role and oh my god you're dealing with the trouble so easily okay this is uh the life purpose uh, oracle cards and now i'm going to take a card about what you need to know this year to align yourself with your life purpose what you need to know what is the advice uh, that you need to take this year to align with your life purpose build it of course you're a builder you are a builder because you have the ability to build and create uh, you know your innate ability to build and create brings you a deeper sense of accomplishment you are a builder you are an organizer you are someone that can create uh, so many things because they, you have the capacity to manage multiple things at the same time you know which stone to put in each place to bring something into life that's your skill your skill is you build things you build um you bring organization to your uh work you bring you build a, a structure you build order that's the feeling that i'm getting from you and that's your life purpose is you use that gift and you're doing that that's amazing and you have wins all the time eh? by the way you're in the air and in the earth that means that you're very mental and very practical you have a very strong intelligence, a very strong mental capability, and a very solid practical capability. You have the ability to convert ideas into actions. Okay, one hundred percent, one hundred percent tangible result, tangible result, and you're very passionate about what you do. Okay, so the next car is a financial. Uh, what I mean, just a financial uh, advice for twenty twenty anything that spirit want to tell you regarding your finance for this year and for this path okay messenger of emotion okay this is the night of uh, cups this is the beginning of a new emotional experience that would could grow into something deeper you may receive a message expressing feelings that you didn't even know were developing a social invitation could soon be on its way there is a person involved who is very gentle and loving with only the kindness of kindness of intention. It could be you, especially if you're artistic, shy, and sensitive. Well, for me, this is another reminder that, uh, you know, this is finance, but this is the, I mean, everything is connected. At the end of the day, we are humans, no? Uh, this is a message that there will be someone that wants to be close to you, that is going to help you. Uh, that you need to pay attention to and uh, someone in the work that really really want to work with you and it will help you to maintain this position and uh, that's that's what i'm getting so it's important that you pay attention to this person okay so if someone offer you love i mean love in a way of helping hand uh support uh, they want to chat with you they want that no don't oh sorry uh, don't just focus on the finance, on the coins, you know, focus also on building your network. That will help you financially this year. Build a network, okay? 
the next um, the next card is who is going to be because we all have connections we all have people that help us who is going to be the main person this year that is going to help you the most we have some clues here and this person is on the distant eh? it's not necessarily close maybe someone that you left uh, in the other office a colleague that you that is in the in a different office mm? because it comes in a letter that's what I'm about who's going to help you the most hope love and acceptance okay this is your mom telling you that you have to uh, you know you have not to forget them <laughs> And uh, remember that we we love you, we accept you, we like you as you are, okay? And besides you focusing on your career so much, we still love you. We still take uh, you know have you in uh, have you in our thought. So the person that plays a very important role connecting with you with your emotions because we see that you are very target driven is your mom, your mom or a mother figure, okay? It could be your uncle, so someone that plays the role of you know of. Um, uh, of, a, of a mom or someone uh, on, on those vibes okay and the final one the final card is um what do you what is the goddess that you are becoming once you do this what is the light that you are sharing with the world there is around you what is the goddess that you are becoming and what is the, sh the light that you are shining to others compassion Oh, wow. This came like three different times. I mean, this is like a message for many, many people. Okay. Compassion. Thinking others as well. You will understand this because this is the lesson here. You will understand that and you will be able to become a more compassionate person because you will realize across this year you achieved so much that also you need to pay attention to the people that love you. Okay. And be compassionate about those that so is are around you, and that's the lesson. That's the light that you need to shine. And you achieve this, you will achieve this. You will get all the rewards, the success. You are fulfilling your mission. You are aligned with your purpose, and everything is going to be, uh, you know, very good for you. So congrats on this new job, uh, and um, you know, and I really hope, uh, you know, this hope. <laughs> I really hope this year is amazing. Please feel free to comment, share your thoughts. I'm looking forward to, um, you know, to be with you in your journey. And if you need any further advice, feel free to reach. Thank you so much and have a lovely, lovely day. Thank you. Bye.